everyone so welcome to the beginning of this vlog i am participating in the 24.5 readathon it's a readathon that you're supposed to try to read for 24 hours and five minutes in 48 hours it is taking place january 12th through the 13th and it is currently january 12th at 10 30 in the morning <laughs> i really highly doubt i will read for 24 hours and 48 hours not because I am not gonna read. I actually have so much time on my hands for the next couple of days. I just simply don't like wake up earlier to start a readathon or stay up late doing a readathon. So my goal is to read for like 16 hours um, in the next two days. So I'm gonna show you guys my TBR and then we're actually gonna get started reading. So my TBR is, firstly, I am currently 65% of the way through Strange the Dreamer and I plan on probably finishing this today because I am so into it, I am loving it, I can't believe I put off reading for so long, um, I'm absolutely loving it so I think I'm going to try to finish this today. And then I also have A Wind in the Door by Madeline Langle. Lang the angle. I just finished Urkel in Time like yesterday or the day before and I really enjoyed it and I already have the second book so I'm going to read this. This is really short and it's a kid's book so the writing is gigantic. It's like 240 pages and look at that writing. The other one took me like two hours to read, not even. It was like 45 minute two sittings so I am definitely going to try to finish this one. And then I have some manga. I am currently loving this series and I'm so mad that I'm gonna have to wait till I get to school to order the next volumes just to make sure that they actually get to my school um, because if I order them now I can't order them to my school and I'd have to order them home but they might not make it here in time so I have to wait until I go back to school. But that is Honey So Sweet by Amu Meguru. I'm loving this. I didn't think I would love it as much as I would. I don't really like shoujo that much and it's been years since I really got into a manga series. I used to read manga all the time. I have such a huge collection of manga and I used to watch anime all the time but I kind of fell out of it. But I have recently kind of wanted to get back into it so I there was a sale that a shop was doing buy one get one free so I got the first four volumes of this and this is the fourth one and it's my last one to read. I have and then I have two manga that I have had for literally ages but I'm finally going to get to them and that is number six by Atsuko Asano and Hinoki Kino. Um, this I've heard is like gay. <laughs> I didn't know that but I picked it up but I'm kind of okay with it if it's gay but I thought it was just like a dystopian thing. My friend recommended it to me which is why I picked it up. And then I also have one that's very similar to Honey So Sweet. I'm hoping it's not too similar though, but this one, I've seen so many people love it. And that is My Little Monster, Volume 1 by Rubiko. This sounds very similar to Honey So Sweet, so I'm hoping it, it could go two ways. Either it could hold me over until I get the next four volumes of Honey So Sweet, or I could hate it because it's too similar. But yeah, I do think I'm going to get to read quite a bit. The only, like, I literally can't do much right now because I have a pinched nerve in my foot, a neuroma, and it hurts to walk. So I'm, you're going to get a lot of shots of me sitting like this in bed or down on the couch because I literally can't stand up without being in a lot of pain right now. The bad thing is that I do not like audiobooks, so I can't read while doing, like, cooking or showering and stuff like that. So that's the only places I'm going to probably lose a lot of time reading. But yeah, that is my TBR. I ordered Thunderhead by Neil Shusterman two days ago. So it should be coming in the mail today. Hopefully that comes as I'm finishing Strange the Dreamer. It says it's coming by 8 o'clock tonight. I'm hoping it comes before that. Thunderhead is on its way. If it doesn't come in time, I'm going to start Renegades by Marissa Meyer. That is my full plan. Okay, but anyways, I have rambled for far too long, so I'm going to go start reading. Woo! Okay, this is perfect. My worries are gone. My Amazon package is here, which has Thunderhead in it. Woo! So, mini unboxing time. This also has my Korean textbooks in it, <laughs> but... Okay, well, if anyone was wondering what Korean textbooks I use, Korean, integrated Korean, intermediate two. And we have the workbook. 
And then we have the real book everyone wants. Oh my god. Oh, I'm so excited for this. Oh, it's so long. Actually, it's really not that long. It's got that giant YA spacing and huge margins, but it's over 500 pages. Nice. I'm really excited for this. I thought it was a duology, though. I'm really upset. I think it's supposed to actually be a trilogy, but um, I read Scythe when it first came out last January. I have been anticipating this one since I finished the last one, so I'm very excited to have this in my hands finally. Yes. Okay, I will be starting this after I finish Strange the Dreamer. Look at that stack of books. <laughs> I'm ridiculous. Now we're gonna actually start reading because we haven't read yet, so let's go. All right, so it is currently 12.45. Um, my timer is my phone, which is also my camera, but I've been reading for almost exactly an hour and 30 minutes. I'm 85% of the way through Strange the Dreamer, and I'm loving it so much. Um, but yeah, I'm really hungry, so I'm gonna go make some food, and then I'm gonna come back and probably finish this, and then we'll see what happens from there. Um, yeah, I never realized, like, it feels like I've been reading for ages, because I started around, like, 10, 45, 11, maybe, which seems like so long, but yeah, it's only been an hour and 30 minutes, so that's crazy. I, like, am genuinely, like, wow, how much am I actually gonna get done in, like, 16 hours of reading? Like, that would be insane. So, that's what's happening right now. I'm loving this book so much. I've never loved the book couple so much in my life. But yeah, I'm loving this book so much. So, I'm gonna finish this after I get some food. So, I just finished Strange the Dreamer. Oh my god. That was so good. Wow. I'm so impressed with that i'm so mad at myself for putting it off for so long because like i knew i wanted to read it and i knew i was probably gonna like it because i really like laney taylor's writing what am i gonna do with myself now when is the second book coming out because i need i need more of this oh. this was so good i didn't even see the ending coming and i'm kind of mad at myself for not seeing the ending coming because it was a little bit obvious but i was like I didn't even think about it. Oh my god. That was really good. I'm giving it 5 out of 5 stars. Oh my god. Okay. I have... I really haven't collected my thoughts yet. Oh my god, I almost just threw this at myself. But I think I'm gonna go shower. I feel like this is a good time to shower. So I can like clear my head a little bit more before jumping into a new book. I think... Okay, firstly, can I just talk about the fact that this, like, readathon is way harder than it seems. It's already 2 o'clock in the afternoon, and I've only been reading for technically two and a half hours. Like, I've been stopping my stopwatch every single time I get up to go to the bathroom, or I text or something, or I go and make food. So, I've been reading since, like, 11, and I'm only at two and a half hours. This is so much harder than I thought it was gonna be. But anyways, it's not really about the time, it's about, like, how much reading I'm getting done, that kind of thing. So... Anyways, I'm gonna shower, and then my game plan, my game plan, I will come back, and I will read either the entirety of Honey So Sweet, or half of it, depending on how it's going, then I'm gonna read half of Owen in the Door, and then I'm going to jump in, it, this one's so much heavier, into Thunderhead, and get through as much of this as I can, and then if I need breaks from it, I'll go back to my manga. And then tomorrow I'm gonna finish A Wind in the Door because I find doing it in two settings is just like how I like those books, or at least I did with the first one. And then I'll hope- maybe I'll finish Thunderhead by tomorrow, who knows? Anyways, yeah, that's my plan right now. I'm gonna go shower because I need a minute. Alright, so it is a little bit later now. It is um, it's 5 o'clock. It's 4.59. It's 5 o'clock. I finished Honey So Sweet Volume 4, which this was super cute and also such a good stopping point because I only have the first four volumes. And this one kind of wraps up a lot of things and doesn't end on a cliffhanger. Super happy about that. I was very scared it was going to end on something. I was going to be like, no, I need to know what happens. But I am content right now to wait a week until I can get the other volumes. So... That was good. And I also read 140 pages of A Wind in the Door by Madeline L'Engle. Um, yeah, so I'm over halfway through. 
And yeah, this is not as good as the first one, but still very entertaining and I'm still really enjoying it. Um, so this one, I think I'll probably finish tomorrow um, because I want to move on to Thunderhead. Thunderhead. Um, I am only at the four hour mark. I'm literally like, I don't know how anyone could do 24 hours of reading in 48 hours because I'm not even like stopping to do anything important. I'm literally just like grabbing snacks or going to the bathroom or like chilling for like five or ten minutes to answer texts and stuff. And I've only been reading for four hours this entire day. Like that's crazy. Um, I don't think. <laughs> I'm definitely not going to hit 24 hours. I don't even know if I'm going to hit my 16, 18 hour goal. But um, the night is still young. I still have like a couple hours before I usually pack it in for the night. Um, but I'm gonna try to read for another hour to get started on this before I make dinner because I'm gonna have dinner around like six o'clock so that is the plan right now all right so I just ate some dinner I'm currently just barely at five hours I'm like at like 457 or something um, I am like a hundred pages into Thunderhead and not gonna lie it's a little slow um, I don't really have the urge to like go back to it right away so I think I'm going to read a manga and go back to it for at least a little bit see if it starts picking up and if I'm still just not feeling it I'll go back to A Wind in the Door um, but I'm hoping it picks up because I am like a hundred pages in <laughs> um, it's a big book though and those hundred pages didn't take me very long to read so but yeah I think I'm gonna read a manga I just have to decide which one I think I'm gonna go for this read this see where I am all right, so it is currently nine o'clock. I hit six hours and 30 minutes today. Like that's insane. I'm so confused. <laughs> I feel like I've been reading for, I've literally been reading since 11 o'clock this morning. And it's now nine o'clock, but like technically I've only read for six and a half hours. Well, that's ridiculous. Anyways, since I last updated, I finished My Little Monster, which I gave like a 3 out of 5 stars. I was kind of eh about it. Like I said, it could either be awesome because I'm into this kind of manga right now, or it could be horrible. And I think I just kept comparing it to Honey So Sweet, which I think is miles better. So, And I also finished A Wind in the Door by Madeline Langle, which I gave a 3.5 out of 5 stars. I enjoyed it, but it was definitely not as good as the first one. I also am now 150 pages into Thunderhead. So, But man, I really like diminished my stack of books to get through. I only have Thunderhead and number 6 to read tomorrow. But I am going to turn in for the day because I've already read way past when I normally would. And I feel like readathons aren't about actually completing the challenges or anything. It's just to read more than you normally do. So I'm going to turn in for the day at six and a half hours and I'll try to do the same amount tomorrow. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be done for the day. Good morning everyone. So it is currently 10.45 and I have not started reading yet. If anyone was wondering, yes I do try to shove K-pop down you guys' throats because more people need to watch and listen to it and if you guys liked that clip, it's EXO's Electricus Dance Practice and it's lit. Yes, and I bet you I'll take a hundred breaks during today to rewatch that video because I love dance practice videos. I will rewatch dance practice videos a hundred times. I have not started reading yet because I woke up at like 9.30, which 9, almost 9.45-ish actually, like an hour ago, because I woke up in the middle of the night and I just couldn't get back to sleep, so when I did, I slept in quite a bit. I have decided, I think I was going about this readathon incorrectly yesterday, because unlike other readathons, because if this was a normal readathon, I'd be rocking it because I finished so many books, but this readathon is about time. So reading a bunch of little things is actually, I think, putting me back a little bit because anytime I finish something, I do like to stop and take a break and kind of think about what I've read. So I have decided to pick two longer things with one manga just because, just in case I 
want to split something up to read today. Also, I think I was going about it in the wrong way because I don't know if I'm supposed to be turning off my timer every single time I get up. Um, but whatever, whatever. I'm at six and a half hours right now and my TBR for the day. I am still 150-ish pages into Thunderhead by Nia Shusterman, and this book is kind of big. It's a little over 500 pages, it's 504 pages, and then I also decided to pick up Renegades. I just recently bought this and I'm really excited to read it. I'm gonna pick this one up, I have not started this yet, and this is, oh wow, this is like 550 pages. Um, and this is a big one, like this is a really like big book. So, um, but yeah, I'm really excited to read this one. So, I figure rather than reading a bunch of little things when I get bored with the main novel that I'm reading, I will just pick up another bigger book so I can keep reading. But I do have one more manga to read if I want to today, and that's number six. I do think I would like to try this out. Um, so, I'll probably pick this up when I get into like a slumpy area this afternoon because that happened yesterday definitely so but yeah that's my plan today is to read some bigger books that take me a little longer and I can get more into and read for longer because yeah every time I finish something I like to take a break I like to think about it I like to go on goodreads and update and say I finished it and stuff like that and that definitely takes away time <laughs> but yeah I mean oh my gosh if we're going with a readathon that you had to read a bunch of things rather than reading for like a long time. I'd be rocking this readathon. I didn't do anything yesterday besides read really, except for like the last two hours um, of my day. I just kind of chilled and like watched YouTube videos and stuff. But like other than that, I read like all day. So I'm baffled by this readathon. But anyways, um, I'm going to go start reading. It is 10:45. Reading, reading, reading. So I read for a little under an hour and Thunderhead is definitely getting better than it was yesterday. I was actually kind of nervous about it because I didn't know if it was gonna get any better. Um, and it had a definitely a slower start than the other book did. Where are the oats? <laughs> I'm just trying to make oatmeal. Um, it's definitely getting better. I'm definitely really enjoying it so far, um, or at least since it's picked up. I was getting a little annoyed with No Shushterman because he has this thing about adding characters as his books go on. This is my third series I've read by him. In every book, he always adds characters, and I'm always like, I don't care. But I actually really like the character that he's added this time around, Frayson really a big fan. I'm really enjoying his plotline, so now that that's picked up, it's definitely getting better. But um, yeah, I'm at like 7 hours and 20 minutes right now. I'm gonna start oatmeal because it takes a little while to make. Um, first off, let me just throw out there, if you're a college student, get a freaking rice cooker. This is one I have. And it is so easy to make things. It is not just rice. I've been making oatmeal in here. We, we made rice, but you can also like make real food, like chicken in like steamed vegetables and stuff and it's really cool anyways i'm gonna make oatmeal and then i'm gonna go back to reading and then when it's done i'm gonna eat the oatmeal so i just hit eight hours of reading and i'm 300 pages into Thunderhead. I do think I'm gonna keep reading this actually. It's gotten good, but I'm just pausing to say that plot twist was taken right out of Naruto. Just saying, Nyosha Sturman, you stole that from Naruto. I am very protective of my Naruto, and you thought I wasn't gonna notice? That was right out of Naruto. That was literally Orochimaru and Sasuke and Kabuto. I feel like I could literally find an exact scene where that, like, conversation happened. I don't know whether to be angry or like, oh, okay, like, you know, copying is the biggest form of flattery, but dude, that was literally straight out of Naruto. <laughs> um, okay, yeah, but I think I'm actually gonna run and go check the mail. It is, like, really warm and sunny outside, and there's so many people outside right now, I don't know what's happening. Um, but I might go check the mail. If it is, you'll probably get a clip of me opening it. Okay, so I got my mail, and yes, my book did come, but there's also like a bunch of fire people and policemen. I said, I said, no, what's happening? So 
sorry if I'm not sniffling. It was really cold outside. <sighs> There's still a fire truck outside my house. Oh, no, it's pulling away. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, I'm glad I went and got the mail because I have a couple of things. I have a K-pop, I have a book, and another K-pop. So, uh, this is a photo card. I just don't remember which one. Ah, yeah. Woo! My Jung Han big Polaroid. Ah, he's so pretty. I love him. Oh, what? Is this what it's like? A dust jacket. <laughs> I finally got AL117. They're so pretty. Oh, I'm glad to finally have that one. I didn't know it was this big. It's like a book. Wow. Heck yeah. I'm so happy I ordered this even when I was only like a couple hundred pages into the book because, ah, uh, yes. Yes. Ah, uh, uh, okay, it's a library edition, but it's in like really good shape. Oh my God. Was this even read before they got rid of it? Holy crap. And yeah, I can make this into a non-library edition very, very quick. Oh, it looks so big in like the physical edition. Wow. Oh, I'll have to transfer all of my highlights and stuff into my physical edition now. Oh, this came so fast. I'm so happy about this. Awesome. Okay. I'm very, very happy that this came. Oh, that was so scary with the fire truck. Okay. Anyways, yes, I finally went and got the mail, so I have all of that stuff. And now I think I might have a snack. Like a snack. And then I'm going to go back to reading. Alright, so it is currently 4 o'clock. I just hit 10 hours on my stopwatch, and I finished <laughs> Thunderhead. I'm actually kind of proud of myself for finishing this so fast, if I'm completely honest. But now I'm like, I have to wait probably an entire year for the next book. I did this as the first book too. I was like, man, I shouldn't have read it right when I got it because now I have to wait. And now I have to wait for the third book, and this has such a cliffhanger ending. I said in my review, I definitely feel like this was a stepping stone book because, like, yes, things happened, but it was definitely setting up for our finale, but it was still so good. I give it a four out of five stars. I really, really enjoyed it, but now I'm really mad. I have to wait an entire year for the next book. <sighs> but yes, I hit 10 hours for this readathon, and it's four o'clock. I'm going to take a break. I need, I need a couple minutes to digest this book. If you guys haven't read this series, I really highly suggest it. I really like Neil Shusterman. Um, I have been a big fan of him since the Unwind Dystology, and I think I like this series just as much, if not more. And that's saying something since I'm not a really big fan of YA. Especially YA dystopian. Like, who reads YA dystopian anymore? But these are really, really good. I highly recommend them really good so update it's now 5 30 i took quite a bit of a break to be honest but there's still construction outside finally found out what happened some main water supply thing burst which is why there's water everywhere um so they turned off our gas i can't use the stove and we have no water so I don't know how I'm making dinner. <laughs> I'm now currently debating whether or not to go get Burger King. I'm on a diet, but I'm also on my period. So Burger King is sounding so good right now. I'm allergic to beef, so I don't even know what I would get at Burger King. Chicken tender sounds kind of good. I'm looking at a giant freaking truck. I don't know if you can see it. There's a giant truck and a crane or what's that thing like a claw it's very noisy i feel really bad for the people who it's actually their house but yeah i mean it's 5 30 so i don't need dinner for like another like half hour so i might start reading for a little longer and then i'll decide i'm, I'm probably gonna go get burger king yeah but i'm gonna read for another half hour 45 minutes before i do all right so it is a little bit oh there's tom brady um, it is a little bit early, it's only 8.15, but Monsters University is on TV, and I really want to watch it. <laughs> I haven't watched this since it was, like, in theaters, and I love Monsters, Inc. So, um, but I figured I'd update you guys. I'll do a full, actual wrap-up, um, 
tomorrow, but I finished the manga number six and I also started Renegades. I did not get that far into this, but yeah, tomorrow I will definitely give a more of a wrap up of all of the things that I read um, and also times and stuff like that. So yeah, we'll cut to a clip to that in a second. All right, hello everyone. It is the next day after the readathon has ended and I figured I would just do a really quick wrap up of all of the books that I read. I'm not going to go into detail of any of them. I'm just going to give you the titles and my star rating as well as like talk about the readathon and all that. So the first book that I finished at this readathon was Strange the Dreamer by Lainey Taylor. I did read it on my e-reader but I ended up getting a copy during the readathon. If you just watched the vlog you'd know that but um, I gave this a 5 out of 5 stars. And then I finished A Wind in the Door by Madeline Langle, which I gave a 3.5 out of 5 stars. I also read some manga, so I read Honey So Sweet Volume 4, which I gave a 4 out of 5 stars. And then I read My Little Monster by Robiko, which I gave a 3 star, but probably closer to a 2.5 star. And then I read Number 6 by Atsuko Asano and Hinoki Kino, which I gave a 4 out of 5 stars. And then I also finished Thunderhead by Neil Shusterman, which I gave a 4 out of 5 stars. And I got 55 pages through Renegades by Marissa Meyer. Overall, I thought this readathon was definitely a success. I thought I did really well. Again, if it was any other kind of readathon, I would have been killing it with how many books that I read. But it was a readathon based on time, which I didn't do that great. I my phone is my timer and it's also my camera so I can't show you it but I did manage to read for 11 hours and 20 minutes. I do not understand how anyone could physically read 24 hours and 48 hours. Like I don't think it's possible unless you're like not stopping the timer and you're counting like even like getting distracted and watching TV or like getting up and going to the bathroom or stuff like that. If you're counting that I can see maybe but I mean, I was reading the entirety of the two days and I only got to 11 and a half hours. So I mean, I do think I succeeded in just how many books I read and I feel like, like I said, I think in this vlog, I feel like readathons aren't actually about completing the challenges, it's about reading more than you usually would read. So overall, I think this readathon was a success. But anyways, I hope you guys all enjoyed coming on this little journey of a vlog with me. And definitely, if you did participate, tell me how you did down below. I would love to see if anyone actually hit 24 hours, if I'm completely honest. Um, but anyways, yes, that is all for this vlog and wrap-up. I hope you guys all have a good one, and I love you all, and I'll see y'all soon. Bye!